So in today's video, we are going to show you how to grind this 86 plus mixed campaign player pit. It contains one of three out position centurions, team of the honor mentions, or future star players at 86 or higher. So it's actually not a bad SPC, but the price is super expensive. We need a team of the week, 186 or higher, and an 85 rated team overall. So we are going to need to add some of these SPCs into our favor. So starting off with the 80 plus player pick you want to add, the 84 plus times 5, and as well the premium mix league SPC and the bronze and silver upgrade. I don't think you need the gold upgrade for this. So if you don't have any coins in your account, I will cover that. If you've got a lot of things in your account already, it's probably a better place to start. So starting off with, we need to do this 84 plus times 5. Obviously, we're going to get ourselves a lot of fodder to complete this 83. So to have a look what we need for this 84 plus times 5, we'd have a team of the week and 285s or higher than an 84 team overall. So there are a few things you can do, and this is going to involve gameplay. So if you don't care about gameplay, just hold on for a second and we'll get past it. But you get a lot of these future star objectives. As you can see here, we get an 86 rated. Once we've completed that, once you've completed this future stars one off, you can put this 86 player into one of the SPCs, but we also get a lot of packs here, 83 double and 83 plus. A couple other packs as well, but they're also the same for the rest. So for example, Ramsey, a lot of 83 doubles, 84 pluses, plus an 86 rated card, an 84 rated card. So once you've fully completed that, you've got yourself three lower versions to put them in. The same for Lindstrom as well. You get a lot of packs back, 83 pluses, plus a load of 86s and much more. So that is also an idea. We have Silver Beast as well to give you some packs back as well as other things, including Silver Stars, which has a token in it, and anything else that you need. First on the Fiesta, if you can do that. So there are a lot of gameplay options for you to do. Of course, we get our rival rewards tomorrow, and you've got foot champs with the playoffs and foot champs in general. So it is here for a little while for you to complete. So don't rush out and buy all the players you need straight away and waste your coins on that. It's kind of what EA want you to do. The SBC is here for five days, so you will be able to get champs done, no problem. Now we've got the gameplay out of the way, let's get underway with what you would need if you had a lot of things in your club. So, with the player pick, you need to have minimum gold and one rare. So it's not too bad in terms of what you need. So again, we're going to put in all the players we have in our club that are not League SBC usable. So, the Turkish League, the Belgium League, La Liga 2, anything like that, MLS, we're going to put in. Once we've completed that, we then have to add ourselves a rare in. And we can use the same theory behind this. We can use a Libertadores player if you want to. He's a duplicate. But we are going to use gold rare here and see what we have. So we've got an MLS one. Perfect. So if you've got a lot of players in your club, I recommend doing one pick at a time. Reason being is, if you do loads of picks and get loads of duplicates, you're not going to be able to recycle them properly. So the first player pick, we're looking for 84 or higher. Unfortunately, we got ourselves two 80 rated players, but we do need a Bundesliga player and we do need a Prem player. So we're going to take Bundesliga because that's going to help us with our league SBCs. So the league SBC, the only one you're looking for is a premium mix because in this we can use Prem and La Liga in one, Bundesliga and Serie A in the other, Eredivisie or Liga in that one, and then Libertadores through Americana. If you have coins and you don't know how to do this, I recommend just starting off straight away and buying the first load of players you need. So you can see here, I've only got silvers. So let me go complete this SBC quickly. So we have completed it. We end up buying two Sura Medicana players, and then we're going to submit it. It's going to cost you a few coins, like I said, if you've got the coins. If you don't have the coins, I'll cover that method in a second. Then we have our last one, which is League Earn and Era Divisi. And I like to use Marseille. The reason being is there are a lot more rares for Marseille than commons. Commons are typically more expensive, and Marseille I just find very, very easy to get, especially sniping or bidding. We have a look here, I've got no players in, so I'm just going to go complete this one as well. So we have completed it. There's a trick you can do here. I would recommend trying to win as many as you can on a mass bid. When I say mass bid, I mean bidding, don't buy now. So let's say you've just done what I've done, and you've completed the league SBC, or you haven't started it yet. I'm going to show you now what to do with what you get with the packs. And then I'm going to show you how to complete it from scratch with absolutely no budget. So starting off with the packs, we got ourselves a tradable pack first. With the tradable pack, you want to sell every card. Whether they are one you want to keep or not, you need to sell them to keep the money flowing in or the coins coming back to you. So you're not losing coins. So see, we've got ourselves an 84 rated player. He's about 5,000 coins. Yes, we could use him for the 84 plus times 5, but the coins are going to be more important for this process. And then we're going to go through every single player and sell them all. But just to save time at the moment, I'm going to list them all up here. All the other things that we don't need and don't sell, we're going to discard or have a look what they're worth. Position modifiers, we'll keep hold of and we'll discard everything else. We get ourselves a luckily we get a gold pack. That isn't always going to happen. I think that's the first time I've had a gold pack from it. Then with your untradable packs, what you want to do with these, uh, this is where the fun begins essentially. 
you want to put them in the designated SBC. So this guy is going to be an 83 rated. We can put him into the 84 plus. Then we have ourselves a Sudamericana that can never have the SBC. We've got a Serie A player who's going to help us out. We have got ourselves a rare from the non-league SBCs who's going to help us out massively with the player pick. So you want to go through every single position and make sure you put them into the right thing. And then with our last pack is going to be the exact same process. So we open up the pack. Hopefully we get an 84 in here, but if we don't, it's not the end of the world. It's going to be a boards at least. It's going to be Spanish. It's going to be right wing. It's going to be Asensio. So we've got ourselves two 83s here, as well as a Marseille player that we can use, a Chelsea CDM, and a couple more Liga and players, or sorry, Liga SBC players, and a couple more that aren't. So that being said, now that you've got yourself some players back, or don't know what to do with the players, you want to go to the SBCs here, and you want to complete the first two. I always do these two first which are going to be the Premier League and the La Liga and Serie A. And the way I like to do it is I get the chemistry first. Once I've got the chemistry, I then get the rating and the players because you can put anybody in that off chem, it doesn't matter. So you can't have any duplicates in this. So make sure, or sorry, same clubs in this. So make sure you don't have the same clubs. And as you can see here, that's pretty much all the Prems we have. So that's not going to be a problem. We can then pop this player in here. And drop this one over. And now we're going to go to our La Liga. Because we can use La Liga in this as well. And La Liga is going to hopefully give us a few cams or CDMs. Or something to help us out with chemistry. A right back's going to be nice. This will come in. We might actually need to put the goalkeeper in instead. But we shall see. And if we have to put some higher ratings in, we will. So we got ourselves here. The centre back is actually going to be better for rating. This guy can drop in here. Because they're Spanish. The CDM Baba. Then we're going to go to this. And because we've packed ourselves some position modifiers, we can also have a look at that if he can play cam or CDM. Let's have a look. He can't play either, unfortunately. But we do have a cam in our club from La Liga, who's 83 rated, that so we can use to boost up the rating. We'll drop out this guy here. And as you can see, we are one cam off at the moment. And that's going to be down to our left mid. But hopefully we have a striker in the club somewhere that we can use. There is an Asensio in any of these. So he can play Cam, so that's going to be perfect. So again, drop him in here. If you don't have position modifiers like I don't here, I have to buy one. Don't buy them. I'm going to show you a trick here. So the trick is you want to go over to live, scroll as far to the end as you possibly can. And you can see here position modifiers. You get five every day. You only need to put one bronze player in. Put the bronze player in, you're going to get yourself a position modifier. And you don't have to waste any coins on buying anyone. So the Chinese league player can go in. There we go. And we've got ourselves a position modifier. So once you've done that league SBC, with the Premier League, La Liga, Serie A and Bundesliga, you get one tradable pack back and one no tradable pack back or non tradable. You want to sell everything from the tradable pack and keep everything in the non tradable. We're going to open up this gold pack quickly. And then I'm going to move over to the next step. So this pack we didn't get anything. So we're going to sell everything and discard everything that we don't need. So these three can go up to there. We'd actually get a left back that we need. So let's say you needed a left back like I do for that league SBC. We can actually drop him in and use him instead. Instead of having to buy someone or use a position change. So it's up to you what you want to do with that. But it is best to sell them all. Now that we have gone through both of those two steps. Let's cover if you have no players in your club. You've got 10,000 coins minimum. What you're going to need to do is go to the store. And you want to go to bronze packs. I'm going to show you exactly how to make coins and them. How to do upgrades and much more. But let's have a word from today's sponsor first. Are you tired of playing sweat teams like this? Make sure you go to Alt Nice, select Foot, select Foot 23 coins, choose which console and how many coins you'd like to buy, select your payment method, and don't forget to add code NANIC for 6% off on all orders. So, with this, you're going to want to spend about 10,000 coins on bronze packs. Make sure you're spending them, and you are looking for Sudamericanos, you're looking for Libertadores, and you're looking for rares if they still sell. So, rares seem to be, again, you want to check the price. They seem to be about 250, I believe, or 200. So, let's have a look here. 400, 300 was the cheapest. It looks like, yeah, 250. So, we know that they go for 250 minimum. Doesn't matter their position or nation or anything like that. This guy seems to be going for 350. So again, we add our mass up there. That's going to be 600 coins. This MLS player, if he doesn't sell, which he doesn't, we'll keep. And then we're going to discard everything else. And you can see there, we've actually made 24 coins profit. And we have got ourselves a player that would cost us 150 coins minimum. And you want to go through this process until you start getting duplicates or you spent the 10,000 coins that I've mentioned. The reason why I do 10,000 is just find it a little bit easier to manage. So again, two more rares. This guy seems to go for a bit more. 
So again, we've made some solid profit on this one here. You're going to sum up for a thousand. That's a profit on this pack, no matter what. The 550, 400. So he's going to be 300 again. And then we can check these players, but I'm pretty sure they don't sell. So he's a he is a Libertadores player. So here you go. So a Libertadores player here is 700 minimum. So this pack alone, we have made some huge profits from just opening up a 750 coin pack. Discard everything else, and we've managed to keep one player. So once you've gone through this, like I said, 10,000 coins. You then want to then put your bronzes that you've got spare into these upgrades. It's going to take a long process. These upgrades will then give you, here it is here, two silver players back. You want to put the bronze rares and silver rares that you have spare into the Icon SBCs. These Icon SBCs will give you two gold rare player packs back, which are tradable. So you can sell them if you need them or keep them. But then once you've done enough silvers, you'll get Libertadores and you'll get Sura Medicanas in. Once you've done that, you can then put them into the three common. The three commons can help you do the league SBCs. Once you've done the league SBCs, you'll get the packs back from that. Then you can start building these picks. You want to then build the 84 plus times 5 and then into the 86 plus. It's going to be a long process if you don't have coins, but that is the best way to do it. If you have any questions, comment down below. If this video has helped you, please hit that like button as it helps me. And don't forget to subscribe if you like the content. And I'll catch you in the next one. See you.